going to be showing you three different types of feedback, visual, audio, and vibration. So let's start off with the visual feedback. Now, first of all, I'm going to explain a little bit about the setup here. So what I have here down, um, displayed down here is the Sentinel that I've showed you before. It's 180 degrees of horizontal coverage and about 45 to 50 degrees of vertical coverage. Now, what you're seeing on the top here is the controller. So this is the controller that displays all of the visual feedback that the system provides. And on top here, I just have a small power bank that's powering the whole system. This is just our tabletop display here. And so I have a 2200 milliamp hour battery that's powering the whole system. You can use something like this, or you can actually use the wheelchair itself to power your system. All right, so let's start off by explaining what the blue light is. Right now the system is on, so the blue light tells us that the system is on and that it's in the first mode, which we call the short range mode. Now in short range mode, the system detects things in danger zone, which is one foot away, as well as warning zone, which is two feet away. So let me demonstrate what I mean by that. So I'm going to start by showing you what the display looks like when something's within a foot. As I move around, you're going to see the lights follow and move to the other side. And so what that's saying is that an object is within a foot of the sensor. Okay, now, if I move my hand away, you're going to notice a yellow light comes up. Now this is saying that there is an object within two feet of the system. So as I move around here, further away from the sensors, you see the yellow light comes on. All right, so that's how the visual feedback works in short range mode. Now, if I turn on, uh, if I use the red button, the big red button right here and press it once, we will go into long range mode. Now here, the system is already lighting up in the middle showing yellow because it's actually seeing the camera. Um, and so once again, if I come in around, we can see the red light comes up and now the red light is detected at two feet while the yellow light is detected at four feet. So it's double the distances of the short range mode. Now, please of course note that all of these distances are customizable, but what I'm showing you right now is just the default values and the de detection distances. All right, so that's how the short range and the long range visual feedback works. Now let's go back into the short range mode by pressing that button once to turn off and again to turn on onto short range. And now I want to show you the audio feedback. So I'm going to turn on the audio switch, which is done by just simply pushing that button from the top. And now when I come in, you're going to hear a beep as we enter the danger zone. Now note that the audio only beeps when we're in the danger zone and not in the warning zone. We did this just to prevent um, annoyance or, uh, from excessive beeping. So we only have the beeps that come on when we're in the danger zone. So that serves as a warning not only to the driver but others in the environment as well to keep away from personal, uh, a, a one foot personal space. Okay, so that's how the audio feedback works. Now lastly, we have the vibration feedback. So what I'm holding in my hand here is a vibration module that can be inserted in the backrests or the armrests or the seat cushions. We can have up to three vibration modules that plug right into the bottom of this unit. And what the vibration module does is very similar to the visual feedback. You receive vibrations when an object is on the left, the middle, or the right. So if an object is on the right side, the right vibration module will go off, uh, telling the user that something's approaching the right, and if something's on the left, the left vibration module will go off. All right, so that's it for today. That's the visual, audio, and vibration feedback alerts for the Brace system. Please let us know if you have any questions um, or comments, uh, as always, we're happy to help and provide answers and, uh, and keep everyone safe navigating indoors, especially through tight spaces. We'll have more videos showing specific applications of the product 
for example, maneuvering through doorways or getting on and off public transit. So stay tuned for more. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again.